Hannah. I'm Laurie. And this is our channel. It's Journey with the Gingers. Um, so today it starts off our series with the Carnival Magic. If you do not know what the Carnival Magic is, it is a cruise ship that we are going to be on in two weeks and it's going to be for eight days. So this video we're just going to kind of walk you through what we are going to pack, not your stereotypical things that you see on normal packing lists, um, but it's just kind of what we learned over the years. <laughs> At the end of this video um, we'll be telling you how you can get a packing list that maybe you can duplicate or maybe you could just get some ideas off of it so pay attention to the end of the video and that'll be available for you also uh, don't forget to hit that like button and also hit subscribe so that way you can follow us as we go on this journey with the carnival magic because not only are we going to be posting this video about what we're packing we're going to be posting an expectations video a recap video but also our journey on the carnival magic with our eight days yay Mm -hmm. um, some of the items that we have we purchased from Amazon and if they are Amazon items we will leave the link below and also as we go through if we remember where we purchased something from we'll tell you that too mm -hmm. all right so let's get started so the first thing that I always think of when someone asks me well, hey what is something that you will pack on your carnival cruise or cruise in general and I always say a reusable water bottle so <laughs> these are ours so um, I recommend to have one that is insulated so that you can have ice in for a very long time even though Carnival is an air-conditioned building I mean not building but an air-conditioned <laughs> ship with um, running water and all that fun stuff you are sometimes going to be on for example the Lido deck maybe sunbathing or something and you will not be near um, the buffet where you can get water and ice at your convenience and also the buffet has these tiny they almost look like shot glasses to be honest. <laughs> they're so small they're small <laughs> and so you just don't want to have to keep refilling and refilling and refilling get yourself one of these so that way you'll be comfortable and you'll be hydrated and also when you go on your excursions you don't know when there's going to be like bottled water provided so always fill this up before you leave as well absolutely and this one actually is a contigo um water bottle it has a straw inside of it but um this came from walmart <laughs> a bt21 water bottle with chimney on it and it came from the k-pop store so if you don't know what store I'm referring to, go to two videos ago and you will see where I purchased this water bottle. I love it. This is really odd, but if you're going to take the water bottles like we take to fill up throughout the trip, we only take one water bottle. So take a small bottle of dishwashing liquid, but if you're going to take the reusable water bottles, take a little bottle. This is small as I can find of dishwashing detergent and wash your bottles out because you don't want that to be nasty after eight days. Okay. <laughs> our next item is actually something I keep in my house all the time. It's our medicine bag and our first aid bag. And we take this with us on the trip. Now, sometimes you know, you might get a cold or something while you're on the ship, and let's say you got that nagging cough, but there's no cough drops. Or there are cough drops, but they cost like like ten bucks. <laughs> $10, $7, $10, $10. But we keep, of course, ibuprofen, because you know, ibuprofen fixes everything. And, um, you know, Hannah has allergies to certain, you know, like things that they wash sheets in. If she breaks out, we keep Benadryl. And we also have Band-Aids, especially if we're wearing those shoes that rub blister. That's important have a good band-aid and some neosporin um, dramamine definitely if you get seasick whatever you works for you so anyway cold medicine um, stomach medicine and we take tongs because you know you eat a lot on a cruise ship so just take a bag and just fill it up with some good um, things that you would normally keep in your medicine cabinet for those times that if you do get a cold or something but the next thing is going to be a sheet package <laughs> so what it may sound weird so right now you're seeing like a bag full of cosmetics and hygiene su supplies so this is actually like a comforter set or a sheet set mm -hmm. that you get from a normal store or department store we take the sheets out we obviously put it on our beds but we keep the sheet packages that they come in because they're plastic and we can put all of our cosmetics and hygiene items that don't fit in a carry-on but we don't want it to you know leak on our clothes and this zips 
closed. Mm -hmm. So it really is, it seals really well. It's very durable, a lot more um, durable than a Ziploc bag. bag. And so we just, when, it's, when, we, do, when we get new sheets or um, throw blankets, we just save them mm -hmm. and use them for packing. Yep, very exactly. <laughs> And next are water shoes water shoes. Hannah takes Chacos. Mm -hmm. And we find these to be very useful. Um, I actually use these when I leave my cabin to go to the pool on the cruise ship because I just walk around in them. And Hannah lives in her Chacos. And also when you do book your excursions, check to see if it says that you need to have water shoes with you because I know some of them like cave tubing and things like that I'm pretty sure require you to have water shoes. Mm -hmm. when you we have two no, three beach days for our four, four port days. Three of them we're going on excursions to areas that have beaches. And I like mine because they fit like little socks. They're very comfortable, but the bottom is hard. So if you have a rocky beach area, it's great to walk on. And of course you get them wet, you just sit them out to dry. The next morning they're dry, they're great. Um, also these are, were purchased from Amazon and the link will be below in the description. So when you go on a cruise, uh, you have the option to take your bag um, off the ship or you can get assistance with taking your bag off the ship. Now, if you do have someone who is assisting you with taking your bag off the ship, what's gonna happen is they're, they're going to tell you uh, what section your bag should be in. So when you go to pick up your bag, <laughs> you may have a black suitcase. Now, that is the most common color for suitcases. You want some way to identify that it's your bag so you don't walk home with somebody else's bag or vice versa. So I recommend you getting a luggage tag that has something distinct on it. Mine is a pink one that says fashionably late because that describes my lifestyle. Um, it also has my contact information and my name. So. The big thing with this is if for some reason it gets lost or anything like that or I forget it somehow, I can call Carnival Cruise Lines or the port and tell them that I have lost my bag and they can find it with my contact information on there. So I recommend you get this. Because I actually, if you follow Alyssa and Griff who are great cruise vloggers, um, they, Alyssa mentioned this in one of her vlogs, her packing vlogs, and I purchased one and have used it and I love it. It's a wallet, but it also is big enough inside to fit your passport. So I can fit four passports in here and it's just great. I actually just put everything in here when I go to leave my house to go on my trip. I don't take my regular wallet with me because all my cards and my cash and, and four, it could, like I said, be up to four passports can fit in here and it zips closed. I just throw it into my bag or whatever I'm carrying, my backpack, whatever, it's super. And this is um, also in the Amazon links below. So this looks like a painter's heart, <laughs> but I promise you it's not. <laughs> So what this is, it is, I know, this is an over the door shoe organizer and it also has the hooks in it right here. So what we do with this is we hook this on our bathroom door. And the reason that is, is because in your bathroom you do not have much well, you don't have any counter space in your bathroom basically if you're in a normal stateroom. So, we use this to put all our hygiene items, all our toiletries, things like that. So we put all our sunscreen, you know, hairspray, things like that in here, hang it over the door, um, and it saves us so much room. It really does. So that way we don't have to like have our hygiene items lined the floor. This is like one of my favorite tips someone gave us a long time ago. I mean, you just put, you know, whatever in the pocket and it hangs and you can, it's also see-through mesh pockets so you can, you know, see what's in there. It's no secret where something is. Um, I've been told that some cruise ships are starting to not like people using these, but we have ha never had anyone tell us no. <laughs> so keep doing it until you tell yeah. otherwise. Right. The next thing we have are um, these lanyards. You just put it around your neck and you can put your room key inside here and it's kind of like a little ziplock so it's water resistant. Um, it also is retractable so you can like pull it out. So like if you're in the theater and you have your room key and if you know anything about if you're a cruiser you know everything you purchase on a cruise ship is on your it's on your card anyway the card is in here and honestly if you'll say you're 
have a waiter come while you're in the theater and you order a soda or a cocktail or something. You honestly with these can just pull it out and show it and don't even have to take it out of the, the little thing. So these are also in the link below. Mm -hmm. What is next is this. So I call this, I know there's probably a more technical term for it, but I call it an outlet splitter. <laughs> <laughs> and what basically it is, is it's you put this in your outlet and there are USB ports for if you need to charge electronics, things like that, but there's also three outlets. I don't think any ships that I know of have more than one outlet <laughs> in many. the stateroom. So literally you have one outlet that is near the vanity section. And if you're a southern woman <laughs> like us, <laughs> you know you're going to need your blow dryer in one, your curling iron in another, and other things. So you can't function with one outlet. You're going to need multiple, especially if you have more than one person in your room. So I recommend you getting an outlet splitter because you can charge, put every, everything in here. You might know what these are. They look like torture devices. <laughs> towel clips and these are stainless steel also from Amazon and the links below but y'all if you're laying out in the sun in a chair on the top of a cruise ship it's windy and if you don't have something to hold your towel on it's gonna slide down sometimes it might fly up and hit you in the face so you want your towel to stay in place and this is just the perfect thing to use They're perfect for holding your towels to your chairs um, these are stainless steel from Amazon. We also bought Mimi some really cute colorful ones. that have like pelicans or something. <laughs> but cute. <laughs> so since our channel is called Journey with the Gingers, you will realize that we are very pale and we burn very easily. So we always have to take the mumbo jumbo pack of sunscreen. And we put this in here as a tip because you do not realize how many people we see on the first day come to like dinner or the theater burnt, burnt. just burnt yeah and so our big recommendation is wear sunscreen because if you get burnt on like your first day it's going to make the rest of your trip a little bit uncomfortable miserable yeah yeah so also the big thing is I love carnival, I do, but do you really want to spend $12 on sunscreen? No. <laughs> Let's go to Walmart or Costco, Costco. <laughs> and get the mumbo jumbo pack of sunscreen and pack yeah. it in your suitcase. And we um, usually take backpacks or knapsacks, and this one actually came from 31. This is my little knapsack that I like to carry. You know, put the camera in, put my sunscreen in, since we're talking about sunburn. Um, just you know things like that in my wallet so make sure you pack something I like packing this because it folds up it doesn't take up a lot of room my husband takes a very um, small not small backpack but thin like he can fold it up kind of soft backpack and just take that so that you can carry your stuff around instead of you know well they get all in your hand all the, are not being prepared it's right. just, I mean I would rather take that put my water bottle in there, put my sunscreen, sunscreen in there, and have everything I need. All right, cruise documents. So important, y'all. If you, if you have not printed out your cruise documents before you head to the port, you might be in a pickle because you have, I know when we drive up to the port in Charleston to get on cruise ships and other ports also, we have to present our cruise documents before we even get out of our car sometimes to go into the parking lot. So don't think that you're going to get there and say, oh yeah, you got my stuff, right? <laughs> to the people that are trying to check you in because you want to get to that point. Mm -hmm. So make sure you have your cruise documents, make sure you have your passport. Um, some, some places do still allow you to do the birth certificate. We um, decided to go the passport route, which, you know, we like having them. Um, another thing is, and when you print out your, this is our old carnival tag, but when you print out your tags to go into your luggage, I purchased these also from Amazon to put my tags in and it has these little things that you can, you know, screw on to your luggage so that your tag won't come off because the tags are paper. But your tag goes in, you hook it onto your luggage. Don't do this until you arrive if you're flying. We'll wait till we fly in, get our luggage, then put them on before we get on the ship. 
but it's a great thing to have to protect your paper tags so you can get your luggage on time to your room. Mm -hmm. So my next tip is this right here. So this is a mesh laundry bag. This is for your dirty laundry. And some people have um, the pop-up hampers and that's good. But the thing is, is that if you've ever seen state rooms, they're not the biggest thing. So I just don't want a pop-up hamper taking up my space. So I literally just put this, lay it out in my uh, suitcase. And then every time I have something dirty, slide my suitcase out from underneath my bed, put it in and slide it back under. So that's just what I do personally. And we, and when we, in our cabin, we just keep this in the closet and just fill it up. Just put it on the floor of the closet and fill it up. But it's nice because at the end you just tie it and throw it in the suitcase. My next tip is this. This is a sewing kit. So when you sew, so sewing kit, so I need something. So this sewing kit has tons of needles, uh, different color threads, things like that, and a little pair of scissors. Reason why we take this is because if you have a fashion emergency or you need to, you know fix your hem on a dress or a pair of pants or anything like that have this in your stateroom like this will save you so much time from having to find backup you know go to the uh, guest services desk ask them if they have a sewing kit have this in your room so you can avoid any fashion emergencies as possible and i honestly think that came from the dollar tree this is a funny one i think but we know that we have we're eating a lot of food on the cruise ship. <laughs> we got some, um, <laughs> this is actually Airwix Air pre-poop spray. Some people use poopery, but when you're in a small cabin with a small bathroom and you're, li and you're living with somebody else for eight days, it might be a great idea. It's a human thing. Everybody does it. <laughs> Everybody does it. Just make your life easier. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, my next tip is this. <laughs> so this is a downy wrinkle reducer. The wrinkle reducer will help because you don't have an ironing board or iron in your room. The only place you can go to iron is in the laundry room. So this is for, you know, especially men um, and women on formal night. If your dress or pants or shirt is wrinkled, do you really want to go and take your nice formal night pictures with a wrinkly shirt or dress? Yeah. No. So pack this so that way you can have nice, pretty, smooth clothes in your memories <laughs> that you get on board with your uh, formal night pictures. So that's my suggestion. And I've also, <laughs> I've gotten to the point where when I'm picking out clothes for my cruise, I try to get clothes that aren't that don't wrinkle okay. easily, easily because I know that what they're gonna look like if I don't. This trip we have two. We have William and I in a, in a cabin, and Mimi and Hannah in a cabin. And you know we ha already have all of our excursions booked. We have a, de a um, specialty restaurant. I can't think of it. <laughs> a specialty restaurant um, reservation, and there's just so much stuff that's already booked. It's like a schedule. So. What we, what I decided to do was create an itinerary because Mimi will wake up every morning, every we'll go to bed every night and go, what are we doing tomorrow? <laughs> and I wanted to go ahead and just go ahead and make one so that she can look at it. She'll probably still ask you what you're doing tomorrow, but <laughs> make one and so um, you can have one to look at and know what's coming up in that day or the next day. Most of the ships, the walls, you can put a magnet on, it'll stick to it. So we're gonna take these this time, and we haven't brought these before, but William found these somewhere, and don't ask me where, but these are heavy duty magnet clips. But these will be great to clip on the wall, put the itinerary on there, and so that way the itinerary won't get lost, and you can just look at it on the wall. Mm -hmm. We mentioned earlier in the vlog that we were gonna provide a way for you to get a copy of our packing list. Um, we're gonna have a Google Doc set up at the, in our description, a link to a Google Doc, that you can find our five day cruise packing list and our, this is our eight day cruise packing list for our eight day trip. Just take a look at it, see if there's anything on there that you wanna to add to your list. We hope it's a good resource for you. If for any reason, cause it's the first time that we've put a Google Doc into our description, if there's any reason that you're unable to access it, just put your email in the comments below to say, hey, could you please just email that to me? And we'll be happy to do that. Mm -hmm. 
So um, this marks the end of our first part of our carnival series. Part one. Part one. <laughs> um, our part next week is going to be what our expectations, what our itinerary looks like. So that way when we upload our videos from the actual trip, you kind of have a little rough overview of what we were doing and what we were excited about. And we'll, and like Hannah said, we will share with you which excursions we chose to take and what we're looking forward to during that time. Yeah. So we hope you learned something new from our video. We'd like to learn something new from you as well. So if you have any new recommendations for cruise packing, uh, comment below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button because we would like for you to follow our journeys as we go forward into the 2019 year with Carnival Magic. And also follow us on Instagram and our Instagram um, handle, our name <laughs> is below. And because during the cruise, of course, we won't be uploading videos during that time, but we will be doing adding to our Instagram story daily and our pictures. And we just kind of want you to continue to follow along with us. We want you guys to come back so if we can continue our Carnival Magic series. We'll see you on our next video and journey on. Bye. Bye.